My strength is our Jesus. You're my deliverer, yes, you are. The goodness of Jesus. I'm Vivian Brown. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Well, let's go ahead and open up with a prayer, and then we're going to get right into God's message for today. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so very much for such a glorious day. Father, we want to pray for our country. As our country moves into a different direction away from you, we ask that your will still be done. Father, we believe in you, and we believe that you have everything under control. Father, no matter what happens, we know you are God, and you are God alone. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your patience, Father, for all the times we go from day to day as busy as we are with our worries and our entertainment. We thank you so much, Father, for still being here for us, Father. Father, we have to ask you to forgive us for our sins, for all the times we didn't acknowledge you, for all the times we didn't consult you, and Father, for all the times we wouldn't follow you. Forgive us, Father. Father, I pray for each and every person that is able to view of this video. I pray that they are able to receive what it is that you have for them to receive this day. Thank you for the goodness of Jesus. We love you, Father. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Work, school, children, marriage, bills, friends, shopping, traffic, television, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, blogs, the news, and this cell phone. Does it ever stop? Do we ever just stop? Just something to think about. Do we socialize on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but not with God? Do we really allow work, children, and even entertainment hold top priority in our lives? Is God receiving a busy signal? <phone rings> while trying to reach you. This is his question for today. You know, as I researched information for God's message today, I came across some information that really caught my attention. It was a message of Satan speaking at a convention. Special thanks to Pastor Billy Crone for recording this information. Very, very powerful. Take a look at this.
continues to receive a busy signal. So in doing my research and praying about this particular message, this is what I received. When God receives a busy signal, I myself believe that it is or it can be for one of the following three reasons. The first reason, we are too busy working to make money to pay the bills we created while not listening to God in the first place. Okay, number one, busy working. Number two, stress under stress we are pulled in so many different directions in our lives until these daily situations have us worried and stressed out so number two stress being worried the third reason i believe that god is receiving a busy signal is from our entertainment now, God is good at giving us entertainment, but when we get so busy pursuing the pleasures that come from this entertainment, somewhere God seems to get lost and we forget to continue to pursue Him. Wow. Now, here's something that I really, really want you to think about. I was so very, very convicted from the video until um, I had to go back and pray about it again and ask, of course, God to forgive me for my sins in being so busy and not answering his calls. But this is what came to mind. If God keeps getting a busy signal, think about this now. If he continues to receive a busy signal, how does he say child don't give that person the time of day he or she is dangerous child don't go down that road it's a dead end what about this one child don't take that job because it will take you away from me i don't care how much it pays i will always supply all of your needs if God continues to receive a busy signal, how does he say, Child, I need you to tell this man in the grocery store about me. He needs to hear someone say my name. He's ready to commit suicide. Child, I need for you to pray for my child standing on the corner, not drive by her and talk about her. How about this one? I need for you to reach out to your mom today and forgive her because she won't be here tomorrow. And if God continues to receive a busy signal, how does he say, my child, I need for you to take food over to your neighbor's house because this single mom spent her last on yesterday's meal. How does he say this? Now think about this. How does God get through to us if he keeps getting a busy signal? How does he reach us? Should he allow our boss to fire us? If he continues to get a busy signal, should he allow our children to dishonor us? Should he allow our marriage to fail us? If he continues to receive a busy signal, should he allow shopping to break us? Should he allow a best friend to stab us? If God continues to receive a busy signal, should he allow church gossip to hurt us? Should he allow sleep to never find us? Or if God can't reach us, if he continues to receive a busy signal, should he allow our country to turn on us? Something to think about. 
We truly can hear God when our mind is crowded with thoughts, worries, fears, and plans. 1 Kings 19.12 tells us that when God spoke to Elijah, it wasn't in a wind or an earthquake or fire. It was in a gentle whisper. And if we want to hear God's whisper, we have to be in a position to answer the call. And I want to leave you with this. Just something to think about. How often will you continue to call a number that continues to be busy before stopping? At what point will God stop calling? Romans 1.28 and since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossips, slanderers, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, and ruthless. For we thank God for sending his only begotten son, that whomever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Until next time, be safe and be blessed.